Something's missing. There's got to be a way to make Halloween more hideous, more terrifying, more frightening. Ah, this can't go on. You've got to do better, Jack. Well, Jack, have you thought of the internet? There's a lot of vile shit that goes on that place. A new Everyone, this is Roxas 1359. Welcome to my newest Let's Play of Ratchet and Clank. Ratchet and Clank was created and developed by Insomniac Games after they departed from Sony Universal from Universal Interactive Studios, my mistake, and were picked up by Sony. This game was originally released on the PlayStation 2 back in 2002. In 2012, Insomniac released the Ratchet and Clank HD collection, which contains the first three Ratchet and Clank games. There was a fourth Ratchet and Clank game that Insomniac made for the PlayStation 2, and that is actually available now on the PSN as of the 21st of May, and it also was available for free, I believe, if you had bought Full Frontal Assault, which was also a surprise game that was made to commemorate the 10th anniversary of the Ratchet & Clank series. Now, the Ratchet & Clank games are games that I love to death. I've got every single Ratchet & Clank game there is. I love the series so much. It used to be my first favorite series, my number one favorite series of all time. Unfortunately, it's moved down to number two because the Fallout games have taken that love. So, how am I going to be doing this project? This project, unfortunately, when it comes to the Ratchet and Clank games... Sorry, I'm not going to have you guys go through that again. When it comes to the Ratchet and Clank games, basically, you have to play through the game twice in order to get 100%. Once you beat the game, you unlock what is known as Challenge Mode, and then you're able to do that. I'm not going to be doing challenge mode for you guys. I am, however, going to be getting the collectibles in this game, which means I'm going to be getting all the weapons. I'm also going to be getting all of the gold bolts, and I'm going to go for all of the skill points. There are 30 skill, bo skill points in the game total. A lot of them we're going to have to backtrack back in order to get them, along with getting the gold bolts. Now, the voice acting for this game is pretty interesting, especially for Ratchet. This is the only game where Ratchet is voiced by Mikey Kelly, who is better known for his roles as the as Alistair in the Beautiful Joe series. I did not realize that he was actually Alistair, but now that I hear it, I actually hear the difference. And Clank has kept his voice actor, I believe, through all of the Ratchet and Clank games, and that is David Kay. David Kay being the voice of Megatron in the old Transformers series starting with Beast Wars up until Cybertron. In animated, he began to voice Optimus Prime, and he's also, I believe, did Optimus Prime and Transformers Prime, because he's starting to do Optimus Prime now. So those are the two main characters that we're going to be doing. So without further ado, let us begin a new game. There's going to be a lot of cutscenes in this game in the beginning, so I'm going to be quiet for them. And just as fun as always... They're in 4x3, so I have to, you know, edit them to be in 16x9. So, let's make this save file, and let us commence now. Kizzling Plateau, Planet Velden. I butchered that name. Kitty! Final step, attach robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help desk technology. Meanwhile, in a factory on a nearby planet. Do 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 Just, just gonna randomly stare at me all day, are you? T 
Jeez it! That's convenient. Not even a minute old and you already know how to fly. Your father would be so proud. If he wasn't trying to kill you. Approaching planet Velden. Well, whatever that little robot saw, obviously people didn't like it. So we are now in control of our hero. Welcome to the Gadgetron Help Desk. We are here to offer you advice during your interplanetary travels. The Help Desk is a free service provided by Gadgetron Corporation. Good to know. So it is time to get into the controls of this game. To control our main character, simply use the left analog stick to move around. Right analog stick will control the camera. You can hold the L1 button and you will zoom into a first person mode. You can do the same thing with the R2 with the L2 button. L1 and R1 and R2 will crouch down as you can see like this. You can actually get a higher jump from crouching. Now to jump, just hit the X button, hit it twice and you'll do a double jump. Circle button will switch to our main weapon which is the bomb glove. Basically hit the circle button and you will throw out bombs. What we're collecting right now are bolts, which are the currency in this universe. So basically, I get to commit to box genocide again like it's a lovely little Crash Bandicoot game. Back to the box genocide, I missed that. Anyway, use the square button to use your wrench. If you actually crouch and push the square button, you will throw your wrench. Now, I don't remember in the original Ratchet and Clank game them actually having the wrench throwing, so they might have added that one in. But I will tell you this, the first Ratchet & Clank game is probably my least played Ratchet & Clank game out of all of them. And that's saying something. I played Secret Agent Clank more than the first Ratchet & Clank. It's kind of sad. Whoa. Oh, that was close. Now there's one other thing I want to show you guys, and that is our health. But unfortunately, I can't bring up showing the health unless I hit the start menu. So, might as well. All right. And you can see up in the corner... Well, in the top middle, we have four little circles. Those are nanotech. That is our health. And here's the best part. You can interrupt help desk messages. Yes, you can interrupt the help desk by hitting the triangle button. If you actually hold the triangle button, you get a quick select command where we will be able to get later weapons, which will be fun. All right, so let us continue by committing box to genocide and killing every living thing that moves. Now, if you jump in the air and hit the square button, you will do a wrench smash. Uh, I forget what... It has an actual name. That one I actually don't remember its actual name. Huh. Anyway, you can see there is some nanotech in there. If you're ever low on health or are hit, just run through that and that will restore one hit point. Don't worry, they kind of fixed the nanotech system in the later Russian Clank games. Right, so we have a branching path. They both lead the same way, but we're going to go to both because I cannot leave a box to not be dead. Haha! <laughs> Hi there! Wow, he's just taunting you. Let me help you. There we go. No need to feel embarrassed anymore. Best part about this is, if there are multiple enemies and you actually hide behind them, they will actually damage each other. I've gotten them to attack each other before, but I guess not. Right, there we go. Simply kill all those, get all these lovely bolts. Lovely, lovely bolts. Oh, I need. Oh, yes. Trust me on this. You're going to be seeing me go after boxes like crazy. Don't worry, it's not just like. Smashing all the boxes is just for money purposes. There's no other reason for it. But then again, in this game, money is power. Well, sort of. Alright, so. Whoa, I almost got hit there. Nope. Nope. I love the swing back on the wrench. Nope. <laughs> the 
The only bad part is you cannot move while your wrench is thrown. This is something that they fixed in the later Ratchet and Clank games, actually. I think that might be what I'm remembering was different, that you couldn't move before. I'm, in the future series for the Ratchet and Clank games, you can actually jump and throw your wrench. Uh, yeah, you can't... Yeah, you can't do it in this one. So, in the future series, they added that in, along with the ability for you to move while throwing your wrench. I know that was a huge thing in A Crack in Time for me. And a Crack in Time is one of my favorite Ratchet & Clank games. Who oh boy! I should mention now that I am going to be doing all the Ratchet & Clank games, including the two spin-off games, which are Size Matters and Secret Agent Clank. So, keep, those, keep on the lookout for those. Alright, I see you robots. Time to die. At the hands of Roxas. And my bomb glove. You know, somebody spent a lot of time stacking up these boxes perfectly. So, and just making it all look nice and tidy. And here I come, just smashing the heck out of it. I love my job. Yes, I know, nanotech. Seriously, the best part about a game is when it lets you discover the controls on your own and lets you interrupt the stupid commands it gives. Now let's go and see what we got. Why are you looking around as if you're going to get in trouble for stealing it? You kind of killed everyone else. Aw, is the baby curious? Interesting. Oh. You're quite handy with your wrench. You're quite eloquent. I, bet. I built that ship with it. Hmm. Currently, I'm in search of someone who could be of assistance in saving the solar system. Do you know where I might find that fellow? Well, he's on the radio every week. Other than that, no. Hey, what's with all this save the solar system stuff anyway? I happen to find this convenient plot device where I was born. Hello, citizens of... <laughs> My race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Dreck, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the choicest planetary components available. So, what does this mean to you, you might ask? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you couldn't possibly understand, we will be extracting a large portion of your planet and adding it to our new one. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas. But, of course, sacrifices must be made. <laughs> Thank you for your cooperation. Cut. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... <laughs> We're still on? Look, turn it off, you idiot! Oh, that was perfect. The people on those planets are hosed. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates contained in this infobot, I might be able to gather further information there. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. The robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you to this wherever it is, and you get my ship started for me? That is what I'm proposing. Better come with a, with a decision fast. Deal. Chairman Drex flagship, Belden Orbit. Do, 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 no, copyright. No, bad Roxas. This could be a problem. Take care of it. Whoa, this is great! So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendages to the steering mechanism, sir. Huh? Oh, right. <laughs> Backseat <laughs> driver. Oh, and by the way, you could stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Please to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is B54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on! Back on Chairman Drek's flagship. So you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin removing it. Preposterous! I will not stand for this! Unfortunately, you have no choice in the matter. 
Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> I don't see what's so funny. Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you, you puny. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! He's all yours, gentlemen. Try not to leave any marks. You are just evil! Entering atmosphere of planet Novalis. Somebody needs to learn how to, you know... Somebody needs to learn how to land. Where are you? <laughs> oh, sorry about that. Well, we're not leaving the way we came in. Perhaps we could procure a ship from one of the inhabitants. If there are any left. That's not good. Alright, so, the new question raises. When, well, that's just talking about saving. It automatically saves your game. Who voices Chairman Drek? It's Kevin Michael Richardson. They got Kevin Michael Richardson to voice him. If you don't know who Kevin Michael Richardson is, then I feel sorry for you. Here's a little rundown of what he does. Press the square button to die, and the X button to rise. Push the X button hard. Could not have timed that more perfectly. Kevin Michael Richardson played um, Bulkhead in the Transformers Prime series. He's also played Omega Supreme in the played Omega Supreme in Transformers Animated. He also played as Sebastian in the Kingdom Hearts series for both games. I think he might actually be the original voice of Sebastian as well. Because Kevin Michael Richardson has a lot of Disney movies in his background. He's One of his most prominent roles is, I believe, Captain Gantu in Lilo and Stitch, actually. It... It's Kevin Michael Richardson, honestly. If you don't know who he is, then go IMDB him. My God. Kevin Michael Richardson is just awesome. I love him as a character. And he does a good Chairman Drek, too. Please note there are multiple voice actors in this game. Uh, only the main ones are going to be the ones that I really bio for who it is they are voiced by. Because a lot of the time they are voiced by the same character because this was still the day in which huge amount of voice acting wasn't available and before Nolan North came onto the scene. Alright, so why are we in here? There's really no reason to come in here, except for a gold bolt. Oh look, little things. Let's kill them. Oh look, it fell over and died. Alright, now to do this, simply hit the square button. Ratchet will put his wrench right there, and then you just have to turn the right analog stick. You don't have to spin it or anything, so you don't have to destroy your hand and relive memories of playing Mario Party 1 on the Nintendo 64. Now, use your bomb glove right here, close this up, and we have our first gold bolt. So, that's one on the road to many that we have to get. So, gold bolt acquired. Every time you get a gold bolt, it will autosave, and it will play that unskippable cutscene. Something that they did not get rid of in the first three Russian Plank games. At least it's not very long. Ooh, wow, we got quite a bit of ammo. Alright, there are bolts in the corner. Now, it seems like we have a lot of bolts. Uh, that's actually not really that much. Alright, so let us... Dive, 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 rise! I need to find where the exit is. See, the oxygen meter is a pain. Because it goes down pretty quickly. Don't worry. It gets to later in the game to where we can do something about that. And it never shows up in a future Ratchet and Clank game. Honestly, that's the best part. I hate drowning underwater. As opposed to what else would you do underwater if you were to die? Well, I guess hard to do. Stop trying to make up explanations and everything. Alright, so now we're going to go up this way. Before we go to the main city, we need to actually have a place to go to, actually, before that. In this game, there are multiple missions that are basically all around at once. Well, a lot of the time, you're going to have to come back later to complete said missions because of the fact 
that they require equipment that we won't get until later in the game. But, as you can see, there are steps right here, but we're actually going to wall jump. To wall jump, just simply go up to wall, jump, hit the X button each time you jump off each of the walls, come up here, and here is the second gold bolt. There are three gold bolts total on Novalis. We can only get two of them right now, so we are all set right now. Unfortunately, we can only get two. We need a special piece of equipment for the next one, and unfortunately, we won't be getting that one for a while. Those don't damage you, so don't worry. It look, you, That is the hitting animation. Like, this is... That's the animation that you get whenever you get hit, but we didn't lose any health. Okay, and there we go. So now we have multiple fully ammo bomb glove. Where am I trying to go? I'm trying to go this way. Silly me, I'm turned around. All right. Now, one thing I will say that I don't like about the Ratchet and Clank games is depending on on what weapon you have equipped as your main weapon when you open up an ammo crate that's the type of ammo that comes out of it unfortunately it's not like universal type ammo i think no through what i'm remembering they didn't really change that i think they changed that in the future series but i don't remember for sure the Ratchet and Clank games are much like how the Pokemon games are in that they don't, re they haven't really changed the formula much until recently, which has kind of not been a good sign for it. There is a Ratchet and Clank movie that is coming out, and I'm actually quite excited to see that. Because while normally I would be appalled and just sad because, oh great, a video game movie like those ever do well, but Wreck-It Ralph changed my mind on a lot of things about movies with video game related things in it, and the Ratchet and Clank series is pure gold mine when it comes to comedy, if you ask me. I love the comedy in this series. And we're actually going to meet one of the best characters ever in all the Ratchet and Clank games. Dad, blast it! <laughs> look, plumber's crack. What did you just say? I said, look, the plumber's back. All right, wise guy. Shouldn't you be on one of them escape transports? Escape transports? Newsflash, giant robots attacking! <laughs> The escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this god darn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough boats. <laughs> Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of bolts? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An infobot. Ratchet, we could use that. Hmm. Pay buy the infobot for five hundred bolts? Sure. Did he just slide down a sewer pipe? There goes one of the best characters in the Ratchet and Clank series. Mayday, Mayday! This is the solar ship Radical. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close! Ah! Back down, I can't concentrate. Oh, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long, kid. Let's M scream! Eject! Eject! Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he know Captain Quark? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder, always going off about how cool he is. Looks like he's in trouble. I'll say. I've never seen him look so freaked out. Huh. Gadgetron Infobots give you coordinates for new planets. Now that you have the Infobot for Planet Iridia, you'll need to find a ship to get there. I see. All right, so we have the next planet where we're going to have to go to, Iridia. So now you're wondering... To enter look yes, I know. Mode. So you're probably wondering, who is it that voice Skid McMarks as well as the plumber? It is Neil Flynn. I am not joking. Neil, They got Neil Flynn in this game. This game already wins in my book. Who is Neil Flynn? It's the goddamn janitor from Scrubs. And he's also... And a few other ones, but I identify Neil Flynn more with his role as the janitor because, my god, I love Scrubs, and the janitor made that along with Dr. Cox and Dr. Kelso. But, anyway, guys, I'm gonna end it off right here. This is Renoxus1359, and welcome to Let's Play Ratchet and Clank. I hope to see you guys next time.
And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snot-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... <laughs> We're still on? Well, turn it off, you idiot! Oh, that was perfect. And kiss my... <laughs> 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 And kiss my then 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 kiss my 